So in 5.8, we're looking at explosive separations. So thus far, we've looked at elastic collisions, and we've looked at inelastic collisions, and a subsection of this is totally inelastic. Okay? And uh, we know that for an elastic collision, the relative velocity V12 uh, final equals V12 uh, initial, right? That means that the relative velocity before and after is the same. In elastic, uh, in an inelastic collision, we know that V12 final is less than V12 initial. So we have lost some kinetic energy and it has been converted into uh, internal energy. Totally inelastic, we know that V12 final is zero. So the final relative velocity between the two objects is zero. Now, explosive separation is the opposite, really, of a totally inelastic collision. In a totally inelastic, the final relative velocity is zero, right? So two objects come at each other, like that, they collide, and then they move with the same velocity. Okay? Here, you, in an explosive separation, you start off with your V12 equal to zero, meaning your relative velocity at the initial state is zero. And then your V12 final is greater than zero. Right? So, let's see. It says... Um, in an explosive separation, objects separate or break apart from each other, the kinetic energy increases and the internal energy decreases. So, if you have a cannon, you have a cannonball inside here, right? As you can see, both the cannon and the cannonball, even though you can't see the cannonball, their relative velocity is zero, okay? And then there is internal energy inside the, um, say, the, the, the gunpowder or whatever it is, the explosive powder that's used to uh, propel this cannonball. There is internal energy, and as this goes through the explosion, that internal energy gets converted into kinetic energy. And as you can see, it's now got a final relative velocity. Okay, so at the initial state or initial stage, we have a high internal energy, chemical energy, and that gets converted, this goes down and it gets converted into kinetic energy. All right, okay, I think in the next video we'll do a quick example.